All right, guys, so here is that emergency kit that I was showing you before out in the Jeep. Um, I just figured it'd be a good idea to kind of go through it and show you what's in it. And if I can find it, where I got it from, I'll put the product link in the description later. But this is, it's, it's a pretty basic kit, but it's really good. It's got a bunch of little things and just normal stuff that you should have, um, you know, in any vehicle, not just the Jeep, not, you know. Whatever, but yeah, I'm going to show you what's inside it and uh, take a look. Now this this right here, this just gives you a list of some additional things that they suggest you put in there. Um, lip balm, uh, you know, cash, something, you know, something extra that doesn't come in this, obviously. Um, but you should probably make a note of and, and put it in there. Um, so first thing right off the bat, you notice it's got a hook. It's for hanging. You can hang up the whole thing on, you know, the door of your car or on a tree branch or whatever once it's all unfolded and so you have access to everything. But uh, the first neat little thing it's got is this little mini roll of duct tape. Duct tape, this is just amazing. You can do a lot of things with duct tape, okay? So uh, that's the first thing, number one. You open it up, she unfolds. And here... Is the whole kit. Now I'm going to go through it and I'm going to let you know what's in here. All right. So first off, over here, probably the best thing, toilet paper. You got enough toilet paper in there for a few days, probably. It's a very good thing to have. Uh, next would be you have tweezers, uh, Q-tips, um, nail file. Um, this right here, this is they call it pocket soap. It's uh, soap wipes. So, you don't have to, you know, if you're out there stuck and you, you're starting to stink, you can pull one of them out and wipe yourself down. It's just like, it's like an adult baby wipe, I guess. Uh, all right. So, we got next, we got a brush and a comb. Here's a medicine container. Um, you know, if, if you need, like, say, not diabetic because it's going to stay cold anyway. But uh, you got blood pressure pills or something that you need to take with you wherever you go. Um so just leave this empty so you don't forget about them because they do have a shelf life but before you go anywhere put you know two days worth you know day night day night and uh just in case and if you don't need them you don't need them no big deal all right um this right here water purification tablets that's what that is that comes in that's extremely important um especially if you're out bombing around in the woods if something breaks you get a drink from a stream you got these tablets you can put in a water bottle. It cleans up the water so you can drink it without getting some kind of weird deer poop disease or something, okay? Um, this is a space where you put in like an MRE or uh, crackers, a granola bar. Um, they do sell packets of water. You can get water in uh, like the old Capri Sun bags, but it's just water. Put that right in here. Um, that's where that goes. So I don't have anything in there now, obviously, because I'm not worried about going anywhere that I'm going to need it. But, um, yeah, uh, that, that's where that goes. And just a, a fun fact, uh, water and honey are the only two things on the planet that don't ever expire. Not the pasteurized honey, raw honey from a bee's butt. That stuff never expires and water never expires. So the only thing that expires when it comes to like a bottle of water is the actual bottle. That's why they have a date on it. But uh, yeah, water and honey never expire. Good things to know. Over in this section, you got the hand crank radio. Hand crank radio and flashlight. I highly suggest you guys get one of these things. These things come in, uh, they're just amazing. Everybody should have one of these things. Um, underneath it, I'm not going to pull it out just because it's a pain in the butt to get it back in there. Because um, it is pretty thick. But there is a uh, paracord underneath there. Um, it's always good to have a little bit of paracord. This stuff is useful as heck. Uh, you, you know, learn a couple of different knots. Um, so, you, you know, because it does, it comes in super helpful. Um, setting up a tent or um, just tying up stuff in the tree so the bears can't get it or, or you know. Any reason tying a shoe, you need to know how to tie a knot. So everybody should have some paracord. That's just one of the things I'm kind of a stickler about. I have this stuff everywhere. Okay, 
In this pocket, you have, I will take that out because there's, there's a little bit of stuff in there. And here you have that right there. That's a uh, signaling mirror. So that's good to have if you're ever lost in the woods. Um, an emergency blanket. These things, the wicked compact. I mean, look at that. And that will cover, I'm six feet tall, 200 and some odd pounds. This thing will cover me, no problem. It's huge. I don't know if it tells you what size it is on here. Yeah, I know it said made in China. Everything's freaking made in China. But it's huge. It's probably it'll probably cover at least a dining room table. These things work great for keeping the heat in, heat in and reflecting. So if you're out there lost somewhere and you can't find your signaling mirror, but you do have access to the blanket, you can put that on the ground. Somebody flies over, you start moving it around. They, you know, a helicopter, they, they'll see you. But yeah, there's a signaling mirror. Okay. Rain poncho, good thing to have. Last thing you want to be is out in the woods, stranded somewhere, and soaking wet. I mean, this thing, it, it's just a good, and good thing to have. And it, this, I mean, look at this stuff, guys. It's not, it's not very big. I mean, this whole kit probably weighs, you know, minus the food, because there is no food. Three pounds, maybe. All right, so that's that stuff. Put that to the side for now. And here, glow sticks. Two six-inch glow sticks. Highly, highly important. That didn't come with this. I put those in there. The glow sticks are a great thing to have in case you're broke on the side of the road. I have a giant one, too. It's probably the length of this that you could see from Pluto. But you're on the side of the road. You crack a glow stick, hang it up in your car. That way... You know, if you're off the road, say you're in, outside in the in the snow, and uh, you know it's a storm going on, whatever. Before you you know you go to sleep for the night, crack a glow stick, hang it up. If somebody's going by, they're going to see it glowing. Uh, all right, whistle. It's a survival whistle. It's got a compass on it. Well, it, it's supposed to have a compass on it. It does, but uh, doesn't really work i have a better compass but um it does have a thermometer on it so you can tell how cold it is great thing to have a whistle carries a lot farther than your voice if you're stuck great very important all the stuff i have in here wicked important i think some people might think it's stupid i think it's all important you guys can let me know in the comments what you think oh, i have to take it out because it's the only thing in this pocket work clothes that came with the kit i think that's really good idea because i have a hatchet in the car too you're out there cutting wood or carrying wood or whatever not some, this isn't going to stop a hatchet but if you're carrying the wood you don't want to get you know blisters cuts and stuff on your hands grabbing stuff in the cold slip wear the work gloves any injury out is not good you got a notepad in case you want to keep a journal or just anything else. Um, make a list of things you need. Or things you have to do. Uh, you got the tweezers there. Now people say, oh, those are funny tweezers. Those are sliver tweezers. Those are made for getting slivers out. <coughs> They're soft so they won't snap the sliver. But they've got grippies on them. So they can grab onto it really well. Sliver tweezers. I put those in there. They work amazing. And they're really good for pulling out stingers and stuff too. Um, first aid kit, it's a basic first aid kit, I'm not going to pull it out, it's just a couple different sizes of band-aids, um, some Q-tips, uh, iodine, and alcohol wipes. So, um, you do have a latex-free face mask, of course nowadays everybody's got a face mask, so that's kind of redundant, but it's in there in case you need it, um, and some latex-free, uh, hand glo or gloves, so that's good, because I know a lot of people do have latex allergies, so it's good. But that's that's the kit. Oh, and Swiss Army knife. It's a knockoff brand of a Swiss Army knife, but it is a Swiss Army knife. It's got the scissors, the knife, the corkscrew, the screwdriver, that stuff. So it's got all that stuff in it. But that is the kit. If I can find the uh, the link, I'll put it in the description. 
Um, I said I wanted to make a separate video about what was in this kit because I know people are going to see it in a Renegade video and uh, they're going to want to know, well, what the hell's in the kit? You didn't say it. So here's the video for that. But that's it. Um, I said if I can find the, the product link where I got it from, I will put it in the description. If not, Walmart sells these things. Amazon, you just look it up. This one's actually called, I think the name brand on it is right on the, yeah, it's right here on the, it's called a Relief Pod. That's the name brand of this particular survival set. I think it might even say it. Oh. Yeah, Relief Pod. Large emergency kit. So you look that up, you should be able to find it. I said, I'm going to try and find a product link, and I'll put that in. But, uh, anyways, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit the little bell, subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to build up the channel as much as I can. I'm trying to put on as many things like this as I can to help you guys out. I'm doing a lot of stuff with my Renegade um, that I'm going to be putting up there. But I'm just trying to grow the channel, so uh, you guys... You have a you guys have a good day and uh please if you could like subscribe and I'll catch you later. Bye.